Good morning, Zodiac, and welcome. It's the Soul Family Read for the 27th of October. This is a daily collective read for whoever resonates. Manifestation, spirituality, love, relationship. Now, I did this read. It was one of the best reads of my life, and it was exactly kind of what I'm trying to do, which I'm still working on. Um, you know, um, I feel like in the future... I don't know, it might not be a card, that's what I'm getting. I don't really know how that would work. I do love the cards. Um, but I screwed up the tech. I just be honest. I've done over 700 videos and I've never made that particular mistake. So just Sagittarius, we, we, we gotta hit them all. If you're Sagittarius, understand that's your job is to make mistakes, don't worry about it. Good thing about Sag, life, uh, universe, source prepares us for this because we're the luckiest bastards. So dust yourself off. And manifest something else. Just keep, you know, as soon as you hit the ground, check the thing's broken, get it fixed. You know, after you heal up, get your arrow, shoot again. You know, um, so there I am. So I don't, I don't want to change this read because it's, it's really uh, important. <laughs> and I was just saying, wanted to do kind of a general check-in read here uh, for us. And I'm in the new casa here in Cancun. It's literally next to Central Park. They call it. It's kind of like a jungle here, like a real small apartment uh, here, and absolutely love it. The vibes here, I've been like crazy sick though, I have, but for the last like so many months, like just absolutely getting hammered physically, um, but feeling like a lot better today, thank God, and I can kind of talk and everything. Um, but thanks for joining me. Um, I'm a little late. I'd lose track of time. I wanted to do this before 8. Uh, and then I heard them hammering. I'm like, it's 8.30 already. So um, uh, just doing the regular four-card read. And this is us, you know, where we're at in terms of love, manifestation, um, spirituality, relationships, and Ace of Swords. And I'm saying in this reading... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this is something very personal. You know, it's not major arcana, it's minor arcana. What's minor arcana? Us, our will, our choices, what we decide, uh, how we act uh, individually, take responsibility for. And these are thoughts and communication, thoughts and communication. And I believe that this is intensely internal. So right out of the bat, this reading has nothing to do with anyone else. I mean, if you're single, if you're in love, if your soulmate is uh, all over you, and I hope they are, um, like a thick smoke, um, you know, this is about us and our internal process. Uh, Mercury retrograde comes to mind. Uh, we're still in it, and it's in the shadow phase uh, until the first uh, end of the first week of November, I think. So. Uh, post pre shadow, post shadow, uh, there's a degree at which the planet uh, hits that it's going to come back to once it retrogrades. So it passes a degree, 10, say, goes on to 15, and then it comes back after it retrogrades to 10, and then it begins to go forward again. Well, uh, when it goes forward again, it doesn't really, it's going direct, but it doesn't really pass that shadow until it passes 15 sometime later, whatever that is. That's the post shadow. Um, and so, it, it, this is good. Look, this Mercury retrograde, uh, all kinds of uh, epiphanies, realizations, um, upgrades, downloads, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is uh, the power of the Mercury retrograde. You know, and I'm kind of mercurial, I have to admit, um, because I have a Virgo rising. Mercury's prominently placed for me as well. Um, and, you know, I, so I, I kind of understand how important the mind is. As an astrologer, the first thing I look at uh, is someone's Mercury. I get, try to get some idea how to talk to them because that will tell you. I kind of, uh, I look more than about necessarily the state of the mind. Kind of get an idea how do they think, you know. Um, it kind of goes along with everything else. But always, you know, particularly... You know, some people uh, think more, uh, you know, uh, linearly and so more uh, skeptically or more openly or, um, yeah, you know, some people, uh, you know, more, you can see if they're more inclined to listen or to talk. Um, so I feel like this is something um, uh, right now where we're at where we're really maybe 
just realizing something or we're about to realize something that's major and very intense and personal and I think this has to do with, with belief systems something's gonna come up or something is coming up around a belief system and for me again this is personal this is minor kana so as a belief system I don't mean Jesus or Muhammad or Buddha I mean uh, our own internal personal belief systems and you know most of our belief systems are formulated as little children because it's like all we can do in reacts to our environment is in our minds and so I imagine we do, do a lot in our minds then we make these programs and belief systems and so um, this belief system can range anywhere from uh, I am a limitless being of endless potential uh, or to, I am a hopeless being and there's no hope for me. Um, and I think what's going on here, um, there's still something, for me anyway, I'm gonna tell you how this works for me, there's still something of this in me where I just don't feel good enough, I kinda just don't believe. It's like, uh, and it's really uh, even beyond like believe, I gotta believe in love now. <laughs> I was thinking about that. It's like that was everything once, and I, you know now it's like it's more. You know, no, I want more. You know, I want that for my soul. I want to evolve and become a greater thing. Um, there's like a desire there to do this, and I think that's what it's about. But with the Empress here reversed, because it's in our blocking position, you know, that's a hundred percent not feeling good enough, because the. Empress is Venus and, and Taurus and the heaven on earth and uh, opulence and luxury and uh, warmth and uh, Venetian uh, love and abundance, you know, all of this stuff here. Um, and that's what we're lacking in this read. And I relate to it very much and I think it is about this uh, belief system that I have that is very personal. And it's basically that Dave, the belief system is Dave will lose. Dave is a loser. Dave doesn't succeed. Dave fails. Uh, Dave never it has no really no hope because of my child. You know, the, no matter even though how good it looks, you know, Dave will fuck it up or it will just fall to shit or, you know. Um, and um, so this is like literally like what I struggle with. You know, I write the poem sometimes. I say I'll, I'll call upon divine masculine energy or I'll throw in a sword. I want a sword's a big theme of mine, see it in my poetry, you know, because this is us uh, making an assertion. But really, uh, for me, like the uh, effort or the fight is to acquiesce. Um, the fight is to accept. And so, you know, it's very internal. It's with myself. Um, really, all I want to do is get to that place where I truly, really, and truly see everything that happens as meant to be and don't have to react to it in any way. Uh, negatively and just kind of let it be it sounds easy but lucid for me now this is the advice from spirit in terms of this situation and I think like it advice to take this most directly we need to do something uh, we need to burn we need to burn creative a uh, fifth house heart we need to be brave we need to stand out you know, see the lion lion heads on our throne there and look at this beautiful Queen of Wands. So this is being confident, this is saying what you have to say, and this is kind of doing something. And I think Spirit's trying to say that this internal thing will be unlocked, finished, revealed through our actions of self-joy, of really, you know, how are you gonna get to be the Empress? By You're gonna get there by being a Queen. And Queen of Wands is out doing and being and living and feeling and experiencing, opening up a fire, burning. And maybe that very energetically, just very energetically, that uh, opens up something internally. Maybe I feel, I feel stuck. I feel stuck. That's the word stuck, blocked, blocked, big word, blocked. And so my affirmations, I, I am, you know, I am open. You don't say I'm not blocked. You say, I am open, I'm perfectly open, I'm a flowing vessel, I'm a hollow bone. 
um, and uh, just keep at it. You know, keep at it. Like raindrops will dissolve a mountain over enough time. You be a raindrop, keep falling. That's the way I say. You know, uh, but now look at the outcome. Six of Pentacles. Now, the problem with swords, and I throw this up there. You just kind of look at swords. It's air. There's a little anxious to me feeling about it, right? In air, you can't lay back and relax in air, you know? It's just right. You can't. So, six of pentacles is what? Pentacle is what? Earth. Well, you can lay down and take a nice little nap on the earth somewhere. You know? Rip Van Winkle. You know? So, this is what's coming. And it's very balanced energy here. And again, personal. This is all internal energy. So, this means that this issue gets balanced in a real grounded genuine forever fixed way so forever we're changed after that this is not going to be just a quick pop of something and then we go back to our old patterns and we're back to this and not quite getting it where is it and what is it and no this is moving on now in a very solid way I'd say a six of pentacles you're on your way to restoring the empress energy right there that's how you're going to do it, through Six Pentacles energy. You know, you do that long enough, and the universe will say, well, hell, I guess you are an Empress now. You're balanced and abundant. You take care of things. You um, can give to other people as well. Now, the bottom of the deck, which I didn't look at during the first read that he screwed up, uh, but I was so, I could almost predict that it was there, the death card. And we're in the middle of a transformation. Not the middle, we're at the end of the transformation. You know? We are the pupae. We are, you know, struggling now to finish. Soon we will crack. And we will come out. And we will be a beautiful blue moth sitting in the bright moonlight, drying our wings, preparing for flight. Mm -hmm. That's what I'd say. Thank you, guys. Give me a like, thumbs up, tell a friend, tell a friend, do subscribe, get a reading from on fire.